So Oracle's journey from a legacy enterprise software company that I've been dealing with for 30 plus years uh, to a legitimate public cloud contender is one of the industry's most unappreciated transformations, in my opinion. So while many initially dismissed Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI, as a late and unlikely entry in the cloud computing space, Oracle's strategy has proven that meaningful disruption is still possible in a market dominated by hyperscale providers, such as Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. So from differentiated architecture and aggressive price performance metrics uh, to a shrewd focus on hybrid and AI infrastructure, Oracle has positioned itself as a credible alternative for enterprises seeking flexibility and value. So I'm going to talk about five key points that define Oracle's strategic evolution, reflecting on the company's impact and the future promise. So my relationship with Oracle over the years has been somewhat turbulent. I've written things uh, about them in InfoWorld years ago. Uh, where we've had some dust-ups around uh, my opinion versus what they thought my opinion should be, which happens a lot, uh, not only just with Oracle, but other you know, enterprise companies as well. And also pushing back on some of my social media posts, things like that, so much so that I typically don't focus on them unless I have to uh, because of the fact you're going to get some aggressive pushback from them versus what you're going to get from the other enterprise companies out there. And that's just the nature of the beast. However, you got to call out success where success should be called out. And Oracle, in their current endeavors in pushing their Oracle cloud infrastructure into the mainstream enterprises and the ability to get a position in the market and something I think people really kind of were betting against them you know, many years ago is something that we should explore and give credit where credit is due.